Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the LBW Action. Tonight, we have a match scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the LBW World Heavyweight Championship. And choosing first from Sydney, Australia, looking at 205 pounds, Rachel. Whoa! The Sydney King is here in his second ever match in legit brutality wrestling, and he's already fighting for the World Heavyweight Championship. The last seen Grayson Waller in the last LBW match produced about 60 days ago, where he defeated Dominic Mysterio at LBW Halftime Heat. And I mean, there was no clear implications on what the winner would receive, but it seems here tonight the winner of that match receives a World Championship opportunity, and that's what we're getting tonight is Grayson Waller is taking on the defending champion, Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross defeating Bray Wyatt, amongst two others, Hangman and Bobby Lashley, for Tati Mania 4 to win this championship. Coming up on a year on his title reign, will it get brought to an end tonight by the Sydney King? An interesting next is a post. He coming to the ring by Scarlett. He's the reigning and defending World Heavyweight Champion, Harry Cross. Everyone in the arena has fallen and prayed to Karrion and Cross and his sinister siren of sin, Scarlett, accompanying him at ringside. A new entrance by Karrion and Cross here tonight might be a little more locked in. Fighting Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller only has one match in LBW. Not a lot of film to watch. Karrion Cross has been in LBW for nearly four years. So I'm pretty sure Grayson Waller has done his homework. As we are ready to get underway with this singles contest for the World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Grayson Waller, what an opportunity. Your second match in LBW, already receiving a World Heavyweight Championship opportunity. Scarlett stands at ringside, carrying across. They're going to go get put his jacket down, and Grayson Waller going to take that cheap shot and rain down the strikes on Karrion Cross. I mean, can you blame him? You got to get the you got to get the early get going, carrying across if you want to beat him. And now looking cross line, possibly Grayson able to counter with a DDT drop and cross right on his bald head. Grayson Waller now delivering the forearms to the back of the neck of Karrion Cross, and a big chop for his troubles off the ropes goes Waller. Big boot. Right across the face, and Waller's out cold. Carrying Cross, not a force to be reckoned with, and a big boot to the midsection of Carrying Cross. You gotta wonder, some people in the locker room must be very jealous of Grace Wall as he gets sent right into the ring post. I'd be very jealous, and this is his second match after only defeating Dominic Mysterio. His second match is for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Waller now able to duck the big elbow. Schoolboy roll up one, two, kick out from Cross. Waller remains on his feet. And Cross now went for the roundhouse kick blocked by Waller. Big forearm from the Aussie icon off the ropes. Went for a clothesline, got caught by Cross. Putting him up. Maybe looking for an F10 of sorts. Waller counters though. And is going to plant him face down right with that suplex. Bit of a uh, inverted uh, fallen, or excuse me, inverted uh, Falcon's arrow. And Grace Waller now. Head up to the middle rope and gets clocked with a mean forearm right across the jaw. And Waller might be out of it. I don't even think Waller knows where he is right now. And carrying across now, big knee to the midsection. Now big forearm across the side of the head. Putting him back in the corner. Carrying across, sizes him up. Big clothesline, back elbow into that spinning forearm combination. Sends Waller through the middle rope. Sending Waller to the ground now. And carrying across, we're going to put this one to bed already. We're going to put that forearm through the back of his head and wash away all of his accomplishments. Looking, cross hammer, no one home. Runs right in the cart. Grace Waller, schoolboy roll up for the second time of this match. One, two, Perry able to get the shoulder up and count to two. Big forearm from Grace Waller, taking advantage. Cross getting put off his game from that schoolboy roll up, and Waller going to take advantage. Cross looking for a boot. Waller catches him. And going to sweep the leg out from underneath him and sets Cross over the top rope. Grayson Waller using his momentum now. Suicide dive and gets caught by Cross. Looking cross line again. Gets caught by Waller. Belly to back suplex onto the apron. Dropping him right on the back of his neck. Waller now going to shove Cross into the ring. He could be looking for that hardaway elbow here. 
His patented hardaway elbow drop from the top rope. But Cross able to get up and knocks him down off the top rope. Carrying Cross headed up with Waller. Oh, what does he have in mind here? Carrying Cross. Oh my God! Exploder suplex over the top rope. What a maneuver by Carrying Cross. One, two, kick out by Waller. Dropping Waller right on his head. I think I think Cross might have landed on his head too. Cross doing some damage to himself with that that uh, exploder suplex off the top rope, and now could be looking for that final prayer. Grace Waller able to counter them. Sunset flip rolling through with Cross and a big axe kick throws Cross into that corner. And Grace Waller now sizing him up off the ropes. Front flip on Prettier from the Aussie icon, dropping carry Cross right on his head. And with the covers, one, two, and kick out. Wait, no. Scarlet getting into the ring, stopping the count. Giving a little high five to Kurt there. Waller planted him with the front flip uh, and Prettier and Scarlet just breaking up the count. And Waller's had enough of this. He's heading to the outside. What the hell is this dude doing? Scarlet now looking to check him on Karrion Cross. I mean, Kurt can't physically send her out of the ring. I mean, no one here can physically harm Scarlet. You can't just push her out of the ring and get her out of the ring. She's helping up Karrion Cross. And Waller now maybe looking. Stunner from down under. Oh, my God! Connects to Scarlet! Connects to Scarlet! Cross able to move out of the way. And Scarlet eats the bullet. And now a cross track and sits on Grace Waller. Scarlett is down with the stunner from down under and Kurt going to check up on her. There's an active submission going out of the ring. Kurt is disregarding it in the safety of Scarlett. Trying to help up Scarlett in the corner. Waller shoves Cross into the corner. And the wall blow. Kurt's back was turned. And now look for that curb stop. Not going to happen. Oh my doom, Jay Saito. Dropping Waller on the back of his head. Cross still feeling the effects of that low blow. And Waller's got drumped. Drumped. Dropped on his head. Cross might have been looking for the cover, but Waller going to roll to the outside. Smart moves from Grayson Waller. Might be a rookie in LBW, but is not a rookie in the business. Carrying Cross. Abel! He was trying to go after Grayson Waller and just gets his arm snatched down over that top rope. Grayson Waller was able to make that move. He's seen it coming. Looking at that World Everway Championship now. I think he might have been thinking to use that as a weapon, but he get DQ'd. He realizes that. Oh, but it's something he won't get DQ'd for. The ringside table. We see him pull this off at halftime heat. Grace Waller pulling the table up from the timekeeper's position, setting it up on the outside. Waller headed up to the apron. Carrying Cross out. Oh, my God, jumping knee. And Cross just drops himself on his own neck. Was it worth it? The big jumping knee over the top rope. Wipes Boltman out of the equation, and the table is still standing. Harry and Cross, I think he might have thought that through better in his head. Jumping knee over the top rope, just wipes himself and Grace Waller out in the process. But Cross going to be the first man to get to his feet. I'm shocked. He dropped himself on his head. Now grabbing Grace Waller, putting him up onto the apron. What's he got in mind? Carrying Cross now. Could be looking. Exploder suplex here. Off the apron to the table. But Waller now going to deliver these back elbows to the side of the head of Carrying Cross. And Waller now on the apron. Stunner from down under. Plants Cross onto the table. Connecting with the Stunner from down under. Sends Cross perfectly onto the table. What a coincidence. And Grace Waller now headed up the barricade. I think we know what time it is. At halftime, he, he did this from the top rope. Now he's doing it from the commentator's table. I don't know what type of jump you're going to get from the commentator's table, but hey, you do you, pal. Grace Waller now. Hard away elbow through the table off of the announcer's desk. Oh, my God. What a maneuver from the Aussie icon. Just dropping carry across that heat seeking elbow right through the table and right through the heart of Cross. Waller now going to try to pull himself up to his feet. Cross, the first one moving here. I'm shocked to see the Waller able to get to his feet first. Grabbing at carrying Cross. Throwing him right into the ring. Grace Waller sliding into the ring, hooking the far leg. 
What you got in mind? Here we go. The pink ball. One, two. Pick out from Cross. He did a stupid lot. What's he got? What's he gonna go for? He's pinning him. Or oh my God! I can't with myself. I can't. I can't. Anyways, continue on this match. Grace the wall. They're picking up carrying Cross now. Never mind. Leave him on the ground. Oh, he's gonna look for that starter from down under for a third time. He's connected with it on the apron. He's connected with the on Scarlet, but can he finally connect on it in the ring with carrying Cross? Grace Waller stunned from down under. Oh my God! Dropping the mean forearm. One, two, and a kick out from Grace Waller. Cross just clobbered Grace Waller. And the wise of the JR, what a slobber knocker. Waller is out cold. And Cross now looking to use another forearm that will surely put Grace Waller away. He's setting up for that cross hammer, taking out the elbow pad and everything. Grace the Waller, I would not get to your feet if I were you. Looking for the cross hammer counters. Waller's looking for a float over DT. Cross caught him, F10. Never mind, countered by Waller. Waller now looking for a suplex once again. You see him counter this earlier in the night. But Cross now suplex into the cross jacket. Suplex into the cross jacket. Not fully cinched in as Waller's able to get out of it off the middle turnbuckle or the top turnbuckle, excuse me. Crucifix driver by Waller now. One, two, kick out from Cross at the last possible second. Waller went for the forearm, got caught by uh, Kerry Cross. Exploder suplex over the top rope, but Waller able to hang on under the top rope. Waller gonna skin the cat here. And now, rolling elbow gets caught with a round kick and another rolling elbow for his trouble. And a big lair here turns Grace and Waller inside out. Oh my God. Both men giving it all they got for the World Heavyweight Championship here tonight. Karrion Cross gonna try and make it to his feet to put Grayson Waller away. Putting him up, looking for the final prayer. Waller gets down the big forearm shot. And now looking to make him bite the curb, gets caught by Cross once again. Cross has him in the electric chair, puts him down. Cross jacket again, locked in on Grayson Waller. But Grayson able to counter it though. The wheelbarrow into the pinball. One, two, kick out by Cross. Wheelbarrow, gonna drop Cross. We're gonna drop Waller right on his feet now. Looking for a forearm, gets caught by Waller. German suplex into the middle turnbuckle. That turnbuckle has little to no give. And Carey Cross got dropped dead first on it. Grace Waller to the top now. Misses the Hardaway elbow. Rolling through, stunning from down under on a Carey Cross in the center of the ring. Could this be it? Look at the far leg. One, two, three, what? We have a new heavyweight champion. We have a new world heavyweight champion. Here's our winner and new LBW World Heavyweight Champion, Grayson Waller! I'm sure we'll be seeing the golden shoe here tonight. And Grayson Waller in his second LBW match ever defeats Karrion Cross and wins the World Heavyweight Championship. What a night for the Aussie icon. We have a new World Heavyweight Champion. If you bet on Kerry across to win this match, I feel so sorry for you, and we will see you next time. Truth will ultimately prevail, but there is pain bringing it to light. Corey, are we? Corey, are you back in the air? I think we are, Corey. Wait, wait a minute. Who the hell is that? Oh my God! Chair shot to the back of Waller. The new World Heavyweight Champion has just been dropped. I think I got a feeling who this is. Sean Spears is back in OVW delivering a chair shot to the back of Waller. What the hell?